Two microphones, one is $300, the other is $30. Now, the $300 microphone needs to be plugged into an interface so it can get 48 volts of phantom power. I also have it rested nicely on a shock mount and has a pop filter in front of it. The other $30 one doesn't need to be plugged into an audio interface because that's built in and it's powered with USB. And it has a nice little stand, but no shock mount, no pop filter. Now, the question that you're probably wondering, is paying 10 times the amount for a microphone worth it? That's what we're gonna test today. Let's go. E-U-M-O-N-I-K, music maker, creator, peace to those that know the name. All right, this is as official as it's going to be. I have both microphones set up, one on a cardboard box, so it's about the same height, and I'll be center and approximately the same amount away from them. Now, to test the vocal performance and the sound of them, I'll be re-recording vocals over my song, Stumbling to My Grave, which is from my EP, Practically Abandoned, that I released recently. So if you want some music to listen to, of course, I would highly recommend that you go listen to that. Uh, the link is in the description for all the places, and as always, all of the links in the description help support my journey as a music maker and creator in some capacity, all of which is greatly appreciated, especially if you're shopping for a microphone, gear suggestions, all that good stuff is down there. I think I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Oh, and uh, comment what you think on these microphones, because I'm curious. You know, just put some headphones on, some good speakers, and see if you can tell the difference. Check my pulse, I ain't dead yet Better yet, my deathbed's still fresh Although I'm a clumsy mess I stay looking for clues in the great abyss huh. Maybe I'll catch a glimpse I might just lose my mind I prefer to find peace in the chaos Maybe I'm way off looking like I'm far behind A little bit of pitch aside I'm just gonna go with that Yeah, yeah, yeah Check, 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 check Woo! It's a really sensitive volume switch on the USB microphone Like kind of difficult to get it at a good volume. You turn it up too much, it's super loud, but once you turn it down, it like disappears completely. So there's like this special, very small spot where the volume knob needs to be. That's something to note for sure. Kind of distracting. Check my pulse, I ain't dead yet. Better yet, my deathbed's still fresh. Although I'm a clumsy mess, I stay looking for clues in the great abyss. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch a glimpse, I might just lose my mind I prefer to find peace in the chaos Maybe I'm way off looking like I'm far behind Now I'm not used to having a camera on in front of me when I'm recording vocals It's a much more intimate and candid, focused setting So this was a little raw, slightly unrefined But that notwithstanding, drop a comment below of how you think these two microphones compare Is this one worth 10 times the amount? of the USB microphone. How does the tone and quality contrast between the two? I'm really curious what you think. Check my pulse, check my pulse. Although I'm a clumsy mess, I stay looking for clues in the great abyss. Although I'm a clumsy mess, I stay looking for clues in the great abyss. <laughs> now I don't have superpowers as far as ears go, nor do I like explaining sound with words because they kind of fall short. But without sounding too cliche, these are my thoughts on those two microphones. The $300 microphone has a fuller, rounder sound. It has a little bit more meat in the low end, in the mids. It's richer. It's softer. It's not as harsh. It's just nice and smooth. It's kind of buttery. See, this is why I don't like to explain sound. Now, the $30 microphone, from the jump, like from that initial reaction to it, I was like, oh, this is kind of better. But I realized that the $30 microphone has a thinner sound. So you don't get as much of that warm, rounded beefiness, that, that goodness. And instead, it has an overemphasis on the high-end frequency. So it's like too much detail, and that's where it gets kind of spiky and prickly. It's a little bit sharper. In my opinion, if you have the money, this is the most expensive studio microphone that I've ever bought. It's a $300 studio mic, so I've been pretty stingy with mics. I think it is worth it. If you have the money, spending a few hundred dollars on a microphone is definitely, definitely worth it. Now, there is such thing as law of diminishing returns. If you start to spend tons of money on a microphone, it can only get so good. That's a lot to say. Uh, a lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts right there. Yeah. Wow. Hopefully that was conclusive. There's a lot of words and things 
I'm, I'm like hungry for some reason, describing things. I'm like, oh yeah, creamy and delicious and nice and round and buttery. Sounds like a delicious sandwich, if you ask me. Or a cheeseburger, probably a cheeseburger with a like butter bun, some bacon. Just to give you a little bit of perspective, gear definitely is important, but it is not superior to you creating and at least starting. So I'm constantly looking for ways that I can improve my surroundings and upgrade my gear. It's always fun to go shopping. But if you don't have $300, then be encouraged by the fact that you could totally start making music with a $30 microphone. Or less than that, if all you have is your phone. That's so much more important to me as far as the value and the message that I wanna put out to you. So. Hopefully that encourages you that you can at least get started and start making some music, record your vocals, start to have fun making music. That's why I say make more music. I appreciate you being here. Like I said, all the links, greatly appreciated. <laughs> if you click them and do things, all the clicking, the liking, subscribing, it's exhausting. <sighs> Hope you have some energy to make some music now. Go do that. I'm gonna go do that or probably make some videos. God bless.